teaching very, very quick. So anyways, pi over 6. First thing, where is that angle? Start on your initial side. Rotate it. Pi over 6 up. Right? Because remember, all the way around a circle would be an angle of 6 pi over 6. Right? So if you broke that into third or into 6, 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi. Right? So pi over 6 is just 1 up. If you guys remember on our unit circle, that first point, which was pi over 6, which is 30 degrees, was square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. All right? So I'm expecting you guys really to make sure you guys, I'm not going to redraw the unit circle every single time I do one of these problems. You just have to kind of know it's in the first quadrant, so those are a little bit easier to do. So now we have the sine of t, the cosine of t, and the tangent of t. And then we'll get into the reciprocal properties. So sine, cosine, they're very basic, right? The y-coordinate. So we know that my point, let's just actually get rid of this. We know that this point is, the point on the unit circle is square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. So the sine is equal to my y value, which is equal to 1 half. Cosine is equal to my x value, which equals square root of 3 over 2. Tangent is y over x, so that's going to be 1 half divided by square root of 3 over 2. Now this one's going to get a little fun, OK? So I'll show my work now, but I'm not going to be able to show all this work every single time because this does take a while. So first thing we do, fraction divided by fraction, multiplied by the reciprocal. Right? That multiplies to 1. These divide to 1. So we're just left with 1 over the square root of 3. But we can't leave an answer with square root of 3, right? We've got to rationalize the denominator. So you rationalize the denominator. So therefore, now we're left with the square root of 3 over 3. OK? Next one. Now let's do cosecant. Cosecant to t, remember, is the reciprocal of sine. So instead of being y, it's 1 over y, which equals 1 over 1 half. Guys, I can multiply by the reciprocal again. But if you guys can do this, hopefully you guys will see that it's 2. Okay. Then let's do the cotangent. I'm no, not cotangent. Secant. Secant to t is 1 over x. So in doing 1 over x, I need to do 1 over the square root of 3 over 2. Again, multiply by the reciprocal on top and bottom. I'll show you this one just because I that multiplies the 1. Left with 2. Oh, I'm sorry. Left with 2 over the square root of 3. Then I rationalize the denominator. Final answer is 2 square root of 3 over 3. Okay? And the last one is cut, better known as cotangent which is now x over y. So now that's going to be square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. If you guys multiply by the reciprocal on both on the top and the bottom, you'll see that the final answer is just square root of 3. Okay? So some will show my work, some I'm not going to. Yes? You ready? Okay. Anybody have any further questions on that?